Grade 8 Math number 2.1b use patterns of integer exponents. An exponent tells us how many times a base number will be multiplied to itself. And there's positive and negative exponents, as I mentioned in the previous video. 2 with a little 2 exponent is read as 2 to the second power, or 2 squared. See? It makes a square. There's 2 this way and 2 this way. It's 2 times 2. 2 with a little 3 exponent is read as 2 to the third power, or 2 cubed it would make a cube, because it would be 2 cubes going this way, 2 tall, and 2 wide. 2 times 2 times 2. 2 with a little 4 exponent is read as 2 to the 4th power, and it means 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. We do it 4 times, see? For powers of 10, whatever the exponent is tells us how many zeros are supposed to be in the answer. 10 to the second power means 10 times 10. That would be 100. There's two zeros. 10 to the third power means 10 times 10 times 10, there's three zeros in the answer. So for powers of 10, the exponent tells us how many zeros we're supposed to have. If it was 10 to the seventh power, we'd have seven zeros in that answer, see? Now, we can use a list of integer exponents to see how the values change as the exponents change. I made a list starting up here with three to the fourth power, and it went down in order all the way to three to the negative fourth power, see that? We're going to watch how these change. Now, the first thing I want you to notice is that these are positive exponents, okay? The positive exponents are going to be whole numbers. 3 to the fourth power means 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. And look at it as 3 to the fourth power over 1, or 81 over 1, and that's going to equal 81. Because any number over 1 is that number, right? Well, as we get into the negatives, it's going to be under 1. See? It's going to flip around. We went from being over 1 to being under 1 as a fraction, okay? So, 3 to the third power is 27, because 3 times 3 is 9, and 9 times 3 is 27. It equals 27 as a whole number. It's positive. 3 to the second power is 9. It's like 3 to the second power over 1. See? It equals 9. 3 to the first power, that's just 1, 3. So it equals 3. But when we get to 3 to the 0 power, that's going to equal 1. There's a zero exponent rule that says that as long as the base number is not 0, it's going to equal 1. Any number to the power of 0 equals 1 as long as the base number is not 0. I'm going to talk about that more in the next video. Now we're going to get into 3 to the negative 1 power. See that? The negative sign disappears as we put it under the 1 as a fraction. It becomes 3 to the first power as the denominator. So the denominator is a 3. Just like this 3 to the first power became a 3, this one became a denominator of 3. And these all are the denominators. See? We put them under the 1 and take away the negative sign. So this becomes 1 9th, this becomes 1 27th, and this becomes 1 81st. Just like these were 81 and 27 and 9 and 3 up here, that's what the denominators are as they're negative, see? So when you see negative exponents, think fractions right away, okay? So we're going to talk about the different properties for these exponents in the next video, 21, 2.1c, and in 2.1d, we'll actually use those properties, okay? I'll see you there. Bye.